And I'm so glad that we had. Welcome to my unplanned Q and A. I'm sweaty. I look like an egg, guys. I seriously, I look like an egg. Do I look like an egg? No, you look like a beautiful egg. Yes, you do. Cleopatra, you lied to me. She said I look like egg. She confirmed it. This morning, I went to the gym at three o'clock. I think I got there around about seven past three. Good morning. It's, I think, about six minutes past five. I got up this morning just, I think, before two o'clock. Don't get up before one. Definitely don't get up before one. I just woke up and uh, I went to the gym. I did all my gym and I washed my hair and I'm heading home now. I'm thinking that I might do, maybe I might do some of the Q&A. I was working this morning on a few different things from two o'clock until three o'clock, then went to the gym, then did the workout and yeah, heading back home now. Yep, that's it. Getting used to my eyebrows. I still think I look like an egg, but we're all good. Okay, you're gonna play Monopoly. Yes, play the most peaceful game in the house right now. Welcome to my unplanned Q&A. Do I just guess what they say or do I put my glasses on? Which one should I go with? Guess or put my glasses on? Hmm. Glasses? No, I you will guess. You know one of those things where you go like this? It's on a stick and your glasses are like... Oh, that'd be so cool. I go mm -hmm. like this and then the glasses just pop up on a stick. Hey, Drew, I'm just checking the volume. Hello. If I talk this quietly, will it hear me? I get told that I talk to quietly or too gently or too calmly or I think they wanted me to be the mum that yells yeah. hi and welcome to first question I'm actually moving it like really far away from myself just to get this what advice would you give on how to best budget money why start for a question like that what would you say um I've got my bills set out for the next, I've got my bills set out for the next two years. Yes, we know what's happening for the next two years. So I've got my registrations and dentist, orthodontic stuff, everything for the next two years. So if we have a surprise bill, I know straight away. And we don't do any spending of money until we know exactly where everything is going. So we already know how much we're gonna get. I sort of estimate for the month what we're gonna get and I write everything out to that and when the money actually comes because Google pays us so it sort of changes. When Google pays us and we actually get the amount, then I fix everything up and then we start spending. We spend nothing before we have We've run out of toilet paper. Hey, funny thing. He's pooping, so he has to go and shower after the shop. Session. And the shop's aren't open yet. It is Sunday, and we have run out of toilet paper on a Sunday. Yes. On a Sunday, when shops open at what time? Nine, Nine o'clock. Nine or ten o'clock, the shops open. And we have no toilet paper today. Who's in a toilet? Omega. Omega, you're going to go and have a shower now. Everyone who wants to go to the toilet needs to go for a shower. Jerusalem, are you still willing to go for a shower yet or no? No, I sucked it back in. No more ball piping. <laughs> you should see Cleopatra's face. Oh my goodness. They're starting a game of Monopoly. I've seen those funny things on the internet, guys, where this is how a game of Monopoly ends and you've got the table turned upside down and pieces everywhere. I know that's funny, but it's never happened at our it's house, has it? Yeah. They just yeah, don't... people cry. Yeah, crying has happened, but we've never... Have we had crying? Romeo has cried a few times. When I was little, no. How old little. were you when you cried over Monopoly? Maybe like 15. Last no. Time. No, I'm joking. Oh my god. Monopoly was like 6. 6, yeah. Like the young age when he lost. So, I'll just keep... Oh, it's gone black. I'll just find it. I thought I'll never get around to doing these questions unless I do it now. I've got to make sure I hold this up. I'm just going to hold on to it because otherwise I'm going to keep staring into one screen like this and I don't want to do it. Hopefully I answered that budget question well. Next one. I've got the questions here and I'm just flicking through them. Okay, next question. Can we see another morning routine? I love watching your guys' videos. Kiss. Is X a kiss and circle was a... No, circle was a hug, wasn't it? I think so. So there's a cross. Thank you. 
Yes, another morning routine is coming. Uh, we're just really busy with a lot of things right now. I've actually started getting up a lot more earlier than normal. I can say that 26 years ago when I had zero and then I had one child, two children, I used to get up at four o'clock so I used to sleep in quite a lot then and I didn't get up at two or three o'clock. Yes, at the moment I've been getting up around about two o'clock because I go to sleep really early. This morning guys, before the alarm went off, I was already out getting all this stuff done so I got actually a whole an hour, 20 minutes of work done before my alarm was meant to go off. But I do have to say to everybody, don't be awake between 11 and one o'clock. That's the time that your hormones actually need you to sleep. So if you're, for example, in a different country, and once you've been there for about three days, your body has adjusted to that area. So you do need to sleep between 11 o'clock and one o'clock. I usually don't wake up until just before two or two o'clock. Or if I haven't woken up, my alarm goes off at three o'clock and then I'm already at the gym quite quickly. So morning routine is coming. Do you, Diana, play any musical instruments? I play a little bit of piano and guitar. I actually was the one who taught Cleopatra how to play piano right at the start. I taught her for a few years, but then it got to the point where I thought, no, she needs to go to the Conservatory of Music. So that's where we sent her. And now she is a qualified teacher. Oh, yes. And when we move into a bigger house, what's the instrument, guys, that mum's been wanting to buy for years? No one plays it in our house. A cello, yes. So I really want to play the cello. We're going to be playing together when we get a bigger house because it can't fit in this house. It's a huge instrument. Cleopatra is going to be on piano. Romeo is going to be on violin. I'll be on the cello. And Jerusalem can be on the saxophone. Oh, we could mix it with the drums. Yeah, so I really want the cello, but I play the tiny, incy wincy little bit of violin that Romeo has taught me. I can't play guitar or piano or anything with these things I just play a little I just have put all my time all the music that I wanted I put all that time into the guys I keep looking into this sorry guys. I keep measuring if I've gone like this what's your favorite family game to play I'm not using my glasses I'm refusing to put them on okay this is cool because guys do I answer or do I let you guys answer what is mummy's favorite favorite game to play what are you playing right now Monopoly. Monopoly. Rami's my third favorite. My favorite favorite is Waffles. Monopoly. And he just told it. Sorry. So I changed the question a little bit. My three favorite games to play are Monopoly, number one. Second, Blockles. I can see you, Romeo. And third would have to be Rami. Here, here, here. Do you like sweets? <gasps> I love sweets. I love sweets. I haven't had any for probably how many months? It kind of feels like a year, but every time we have a little, like New Year's Eve, that was when I had some. And when the children have a birthday party, that's when I have a little bit, but otherwise I don't have any sweets because, so I have only a little bit of sweets because it makes my skin look really yucky. Hello baby, look how cute you look. Everybody says you look like mummy. I haven't got my Aphrodite fringe. I love you. You look like a little kitty cat. What show do you like watching? Yeah. You're so cute. Say to everybody, I say, I love you. Love you. Are you going to go play now? Yeah. Okay. Go. Yes, so I absolutely love sweets, but it makes my skin look just um i don't break out with pimples this just makes the pores sugar makes my pores look really big and i kind of want my face to look better more than i want the sweets yes when i want something more it knocks the other thing out but yeah i do have them i absolutely love them why did you change from a plant-based diet to keto good question okay funny thing first where it says that uh, we had vegan videos and you guys said you were vegan. We were vegan for two weeks and then we looked into it. We looked at how many things we weren't able to have. We'd have to get rid of bags and shoes and different things. So after two weeks, we decided to not be vegan. So our family was vegan for about 
like really we were trying to not even buy food products that were made where animals were to get hurt but then we realized that that's not where we want to go so we dropped it after two weeks then we became plant-based and we were plant-based for oh such a long time years and years and years and years one of the reasons was that when I ate animal products my joints would hurt and then after I changed to that I felt so good I felt good all the time and then after I felt really good for many years I decided to try meat products and it went well and that's when I thought, okay, I can live a healthy keto diet. And I always had lots of energy to get up in the morning, but when I did the keto diet, I had even more energy. And I didn't do, hello, baby. He's got a big, what is that called? Excavator. Oh, thank you. I had to ask King James, excavator. He's going around the house with it. Yeah, so I was on a keto diet for a very long time, and I say was because I'm about to say something else, which I didn't plan to do now, but the question is, I'm just going through the questions, whatever there is there. I had lots of energy anyway when I was just on a plant-based diet. I had a few children while I was on a plant-based diet, even though I wasn't taking iron tablets and I was eating lentils and kidney beans and all that, my iron levels were really high when I had a blood test when I was pregnant with Nefertiti even though I was plant-based. I decided to do the keto diet because I noticed that I was doing okay with the meat. I felt like I had even more energy and I was on a keto diet for three weeks of the month and then on one week I wasn't because there are things you can live the keto diet and just be really healthy. You want to look young? Keto diet. I guess you can get into the debate of do you eat clean or not clean. Don't really want to go into it. I do know a lot about it, but I'd say that at the moment, or when I was doing keto, was again, I'd eat three weeks of keto. And then when it came to that time of the month, I would just eat whatever I want for about a week. And then when I went back onto keto, I would fast for like five days. And then I'd keep the keto diet until the next month. For me, it was amazing. My skin looked so good and I felt amazing. I had energy. My brain, my brain was like a million superwoman stuck inside my brain. My brain was amazing. But I have changed. Oh, it's making too much noise. Drissom said you can't play with it now. You're going to have to take it outside. Yeah, play with the dirt. Yes, go and play with the, in the dirt with it. Yeah. But I've changed my diet again. So last time that you saw me make this video here, that's when I was still on keto. But now I've actually changed my diet totally. I'm only, I'm not going to say what I'm eating yet, but it's a big shock for someone who used to be plant-based. I'm totally the opposite now and it's working for me. I've only been doing it for a few weeks, so I'm not going to share yet. Next question. Let's see, flicky. I just press here. Next question. How did you pick your children's names? That's a bigger, longer video, so I'm not going to say that now. Put a lot of thought into that, a lot. Okay, next question. Food cravings for each pregnancy. Oh, see, these are longer questions. I will tell Omegas. When I was pregnant with Omega, I'd like to say, but I think you guys can remember. Do you remember when I was pregnant with Omega? What did I eat nearly every single night? Chilies. You basically could have yeah. called it a chili pizza. It's, it's like the whole entire pizza. I'd buy the jar of chilies, and these were hot ones, and I would just feel the whole pizza like every single it was just covered i'd use the whole jar jalapeno no jalapenos Jalapenos, sorry. Yeah. The whole pizza would be covered in jalapenos and I would eat the whole pizza and I did it nearly every night. And another thing that I really liked having with him, rye bread with garlic and tomato. And I would have heaps of garlic. That's probably why they saw it in those videos. In this video here, that's why you would see that kind of food because that's what I wanted to eat during the pregnancy. And also, Omega really likes chili and hot foods. Why are your children so respectful to you, each other, and so calm slash peaceful in general? How do you even answer that? 
I don't know how to answer that. It's like someone asking me, can you do a video on how to put your children to sleep? I can't really help in that area because the children always just go to sleep. I try to think really hard how to answer this one. My, okay, what's coming to me is, I've had quite a few comments that have said along these lines. My three-year-old would never sit on a chair and get a photo taken if I tried to say to them, just like you do, just sit down. My, tr my three-year-old would never do that. Well, that's because they've never been taught to do that. I never let them get to the age of three and, and start teaching them then to do it. All of my children have grown up. They've seen everyone else be calm and quiet, when to not be loud and when to be loud. They've grown into that kind of a lifestyle. So when I go to the doctors, people have said, how do you get your children to be quiet at the doctors? They've grown up knowing that when we are at the doctors to go and get measurements, you just sit on the chair quietly. I don't have to teach them to do it. It's just, they've grown up that way. Is that the best way to explain it? It's, I think people are suddenly trying to get their children to do something totally different. Like my earrings. They're beautiful. <laughs> I think it's so cute. Next one. What's your favorite dessert? This is funny. For example, if I'm going to the movies, my favorite dessert. See, I want to ask you guys, when I go to the movies, what's the first thing that I want to eat if I go to the movies? Blue vein cheese. Blue vein cheese. That's my thing. My favorite dessert is blue vein cheese. That sounds weird. People are waiting for a normal dessert. This. I made it all by myself. What is it? Let's it's see. It's a gorilla. Can I see it? I'm yeah. trying to look backwards. So cool, King James. I love you, darling. Love you My too. master builder. Is he in Monopoly? He's on somebody's team. He's on hard someone's team. No hard rules, no mercy. Try. That's how it goes at our house. How many of these should I do? How many do you want to do? I'll do a few and then I'll leave some for another day. Did you always plan to have 10 children or was it something that came about later? Well, I had always wanted 10 children, but I didn't tell my friends. Definitely did not tell my family and friends. I had to repeat that because while we were going through the journey of having the children, if we had said to someone we're gonna go for 10, they would have just looked and went. Okay, so my grandma actually has 10 children. Uh, she's with the Lord now, but she has 10 children and I've met a lot of really big families around me. I remember I was going over their house and they had milk spilling and everyone's laughing and there's just chaos and, um, Yeah, I just, I just liked all the busyness of a big family. And I'm so glad that we had... When Paul and I met, I just casually... We had just got married. And I said to Paul, how many children do you want to have? And he said two. And then I said, what about four? And he said, yeah, four's good. And then I said, but actually 10 would be nice and he goes oh yeah let's do that and it's actually it was that simple wow look at that it looks so beautiful turn to the side oh everybody says you look like mummy it looks so beautiful oh no 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 let's give it one moment come this way look, come next to mummy's face People say you look like me. <laughs> yeah, we do look a little bit alike. I've got dark eyebrows. You can go down. I actually, if you have watched my other videos, like this video here, you would know that I have like no eyebrows. I got them put on and they were too dark. Anyway, years later, got them done again. These have healed really light, but this is not how dark they are. I actually used a blonde pencil to draw these on today for this video. Oh no, it's about to leave. If the video ends here, sorry, I will do another Q&A another day. It's starting to go dark. The screen is going dark. I'll just finish.